okay last class we discussed regarding the design procedure for the butt joint as well as a boiler joint so before that we discussed regarding that the pressure vessel or a boiler joint if we talk about a pressure vessel or a boiler joint so the design of longitudinal joint and also we discussed it regarding the design of circumferential joint so we discussed regarding that the circumferential joint we always called as a lap joint the longitudinal joints always called as a butt joint okay so in detail last class we discussed it regarding the design procedure for the longitudinal joint in the sense a butt joint okay now with respect to that i will explain the usage of design data handbook regarding the riveted joint the design data handbook volume 1 lingaya okay i have referred for this chapter okay so the riveted joint you can observe here these are the some of the important notations what we have okay some of the important notations that we need to remember okay so if we talk about that we discussed regarding that the thickness of the main plate regarding the longitudinal joint now you can see this is a equation number 13.1 which is available in the design data handbook this is a equation the thickness of the pressure vessel with a longitudinal joint okay this is a equation h is equal to p of di divided by 2 neta sigma theta plus c okay this is the equation we will use to determine the thickness of the pressure vessel okay thickness of the main plate with respect to this longitudinal joint okay same way here we have the thickness of the boiler plate okay uh, suggested types of joints so which is available in the table 13.5 to 13.6 and also here we have the thickness of the plate pressure vessel with a circumferential joint okay this is the equation which is 13.2 okay so last class we discussed regarding this equation h is equal to p of di divided by 2 neta l sigma theta plus c this is the equation which is available in the data handbook 13.1 okay so next parameter is the diameter of the riveted joint okay the diameter of the riveted joint where we will get that equation now you can see this is the diameter of the riveted joint some of the important parameters that's what we discussed in the last class that is uh, uh, the diagonal pitch the pitch and okay the back pitch we discussed now you can see this is our diameter of the pitch the diameter of the riveted joint so using unwinds formula okay this is the the diameter of the pitch so where we'll get this the equation number 13.5 c okay 13.5 c which is available in the data handbook d is equal to 6 root h to 6.3 root h where d where h and d in terms of mm okay where h and d in terms of mm okay this is a equation we will use to determine the diameter of the rivet the diameter of the rivet okay for the lab joint okay next with respect to that the design procedure for the lab joint next what we discussed we discussed regarding the pitch so here i will show you where you will get the equation to determine the pitch that is the formula for the pitch the pitch in general case okay for pitch in general case now you can see this is a okay formula p is equal to 2 i2 plus i1 into pi d square tau divided by 4 h sigma theta plus d okay this is the equation we will use okay to determine the value of pitch but as per the ibr okay the indian boiler regulation specify the factor okay so 1.875 instead of 2 here i'll strike out that okay you just to strike out that value here also don't get confused why i have strike out that so in place of 2 as per ibr regulation we will use the factor called 1.875 we will use the factor called 1.875 okay this is a usage of the design data handbook with respect to the pitch next i will explain that with respect to the transverse pitch how to calculate the transverse pitch to calculate the transverse pitch we need to use the table number 3.11 for the value of p by d i will show you the table number 3.11 this is the table number 3.11 for the value of p by d okay the pitch as well as the diameter okay the value of p by d will get some if we get value of p by d is around okay 
we will get some value okay for that what we will do we will refer that value okay with respect to that and uh, we will uh, we'll refer the value the transfer speech pt okay so for example if pt will get uh, the from the table so from this value we from this table we will refer the okay, the value called the transfer speech how we will refer that i will tell you with one example the transfer speech from table number 3.11 from table number 3.11 for example i will show you while solving the problems also for example the p by d is p divided by d p by d is equal to p by d is equal to i'll write it by using some sketch pen p by d is equal to p by d is equal to so p is equal to 82 will get for example d is equal to 23 so we will get around 2.565 so for that what we will do we need to find out the transfer speech so pt is equal to 2d so here the pt you can see here so for p by d we will get in bit okay in in the range of 2 point okay sorry uh, 2 po, uh, sorry 3 point Three point okay here the p by d is eighty two divided by three will get three point five six five three point five six five for that p t is equal to will use okay the two d now you can see in between that two or three year also for example in between that year two and four also will get two d okay so p t is equal to two d so two into the diameter this value if we substitute the diameter twenty three will get 46 mm will get 46 mm this is how we can take the transfer speech from the table 3.11 next what we need to find out we need to find out the margin okay that we already know that m is equal to 1.5 times of diameter m is equal to 1.5 times of diameter next what we need to find out we need to find out the thickness of the cover plate okay thickness of the cover plate we can also find out with the help of t t is equal to uh, table number 13.14 okay this is the table number 13.14 you can see this is a i will show you the table number 13.14 from the design data handbook this is a table number 13.14 Okay, this is a table number 13.14 so from this also we can find out the thickness sorry thickness of the plate okay the thickness of the cover plate you can see this is the h is equal to for example if we have a single butt joint okay if we have a single butt joint you can see this is a single butt joint so here the thickness 1 point sorry 1.2 1 h h1 somewhere we'll get for example okay likewise depending upon the joint okay the given problem so we will refer the value of okay thickness of the cover plate this is the thickness of the cover plate inner wider okay outer h1 is equal to narrower narrower okay so this is a value we will use okay this is how we can find out the thickness of the cover plate by using design data handbook next what we find out we need to determine the length of the shank how to find out the length of the shank so from the design data handbook we need to refer some equations which are length of the shank i will show you that equations length of the shank now you can see this is the length of the shank for example this is a rivet okay this is the length of the shank l is equal to h1 plus h plus h1 plus h2 plus 1.5 to 1.7 times of d okay this is the equation 1.5 to 1.7 d for example into d so we are double okay cover plate for double cover plate this is the equation which is available in the data handbook that is 13.31 a l is equal to h plus h c plus 1.5 to 1.7 d for the butt joint for the butt joint this is also okay this is the equation also which is available in the data handbook that is 13.31 okay that is 
थ्री वन ओके दट इज अक्वेशन नंबर थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री वन विच इज अवेलेबल इन द डिजाइन डेटा हैंड बुक ओके सो दट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द शॉक वी कैन फाइंड आउट नेक्स्ट वाट वी नीड टू डिटर्माइन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दिस इक्वेशन एंड ऑलसो फॉर डबल दिस इज फॉर ओके द लेंथ ऑफ द शॉक इन इन जनरल ओके द लेंथ ऑफ द शॉक इन जनरल हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द इक्वेशन नंबर थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री वन सी दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ द शॉक टू हेच ओके टू हेच प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव टू वन पॉइंट सेवन डी टू हेच प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव टू वन पॉइंट सेवन डी फॉर द लैब जॉइंट वेर डी इज नथिंग बट ए डायमीटर ऑफ द रिवाइट वेर डी इज नथिंग बट ए डायमीटर ऑफ द रिवाइट नाउ यू कैन सी हियर ओके सो इफ यू इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दट सिंगल फॉर सिंगल कवर प्लेट बट जॉइंट फॉर सिंगल कवर प्लेट बट जॉइंट द इक्वेशन नंबर थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री वन बी दिस इज द एल इज इक्वल टू एच प्लस एच सी प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव टू वन पॉइंट सेवन डी ओके फॉर बट जॉइंट विथ ए सिंगल कवर प्लेट बट जॉइंट विथ ए सिंगल कवर प्लेट दिस इज अक्वेशन वी विल यूज नेक्स्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दैट फॉर डबल कवर बट जॉइंट ओके द इक्वेशन नंबर ओके फॉर इक्वेशन नंबर थर्टी वन थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री वन ए ओके दिस इज एल इज इक्वल टू एच प्लस एच वन प्लस एच टू प्लस वन पॉइंट फाइव टू वन पॉइंट सेवन डी फॉर डबल कवर बट जॉइंट फॉर डबल कवर बट जॉइंट दिस इज अक्वेशन वी विल यूज डबल कवर बट जॉइंट दिस इज अक्वेशन वी विल यूज ओके सो नेक्स्ट इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दैट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द सॉलिड प्लेट ओके द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द सॉलिड प्लेट ओके द इक्वेशन वी विल यूज द इक्वेशन वी विल यूज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द सॉलिड प्लेट you can see here the theoretical strength analysis okay the theoretical strength analysis in that we have a tensile strength of a solid plate f theta is equal to p h sigma theta that is equal to 13.20 13.20 this is a equation which is available in the data handbook 13.20 here you can see here the strength of the the tensile strength of the perforated strip along the outer gauge okay outer okay outer gauge line you can see f theta is equal to p minus d f theta is equal to p minus d into h into sigma theta into h into sigma theta this is a equation number 13.21 which is available in the data handbook okay which is available in the data handbook now what we need to find out apart from that the strength of the okay if we talk about that strength here we need to find out all okay the shearing strength okay the shearing least strength the least strength what we need to find out the least strength is nothing but a you can see that least strength the strength of the perforated plate f theta this is the least strength we will call it and next 13.21 next the general expression for the this one a shear for all the riveted in one pitch length okay that is 13.22 f tau is equal to 2i2 plus i1 into pi d square divided by 4 into tau okay 4 into tau for crushing you can see here general expression for four for the resistance to the crushing of the rivets you can see that fc is equal to i2h plus i1h2 into d sigma c d sigma c this is a crushing stresses which we will get it from the problem okay otherwise some unknown term will be there that we need to find out by using this formula okay this is the equation number 13.23 okay 13.23 okay next apart from this we need to find out the efficiency okay we need to find out the efficiency in that we already know that what is meant by efficiency efficiency of the joint is nothing but the minimum strength of the joint divided by the strength of the solid plate okay minimum strength of the joint divided by the strength of the solid plate okay with that we'll get the efficiency of the joints okay the efficiency of the joint this is a the design procedure and how to use the data design data handbook how to use the design data handbook with respect to the longitudinal joint